Okay. Thank you, Nuria. For me, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, while they are putting my presentation, I'm going to, to start talking about a few uh, differences that we can find in Madrid region. Uh, one of the differences is that we have a single payer, like the rest of Spain, but the single payer that is the Madrid Health Service is also the main provider. And this is one of the characteristics. With some uh, hospitals, a few hospitals that are uh, public hospitals with private, private companies uh, managing them. And the other characteristic is that respect of the rest of communities in Madrid where they are divided in areas, we have a single area and we have free choice of family physician, nurse in the primary care and hospital speciality. So in this context, to share information, it was more, more needed, even more needed. Um, after the first visit of our, our American uh, colleagues uh, and, and after exploring all the initiatives, after uh, uh, analyzing all these in initiatives and uh, prioritizing the main initiatives, the three initiatives that were selected to share with, uh, with the rest of the uh, American colleagues were, were these three options the implementation of the strategy of care for chronic conditions, the palliative care organizations, and the two case studies that we have made about analyzing the implementation process in a concrete territory and analyzing the impact in that territory. Respect the, 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 the strategy for uh, attention of patients with chronic conditions, for us and, and for many of the communities, autonomous communities in Spain, this uh, strategy to, uh, of chronicity has been really the, the, the strategy that has impulsed the development of integrated care initiatives in many regions from our point of view. Um, and uh, it has put on the floor a lot of initiatives and projects, but I have selected those that, from my point of view, are nowadays a reality that are, is changing uh, the, 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 the different regions. First of all was stratification. We use the Catalan system, GMAs, and, and we use it for planning and also for decision making for the clinicians. This is about the certification of the Madrid population with about 55% of population with relevant chronic conditions. And, and this, uh, uh, this um, element is in the electronic health record for the decision making of the, of the physicians and nurses. And the second step was to try to adapt the uh, what we call le level of intervention to try to adapt the individual plan to the needs of the patients, establishing each patient in a concrete level. So we have to adapt all the protocols in our region that were the main portfolio for, for, for the primary care services. So we adapted to these three different levels of intervention. It's very similar to the Kaiser Permanente model. We adapted it to the different intervention for hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, chronic hair failure, COPD, all the diseases, and also for the detection of fragility and, and uh, problems in elderly people for dementia and for the palliative care. So we have all these protocols adapted to the different levels. And they were also taken to the electronic health record in, as uh, registers to try to uh, support the, the decision making for, for physicians and for nursing. The second element, the, sec the third step was to develop a concrete pathway for uh, patients with co uh, complex needs. This, pa this pathway was shared between uh, primary care and, and, and hospitalizations, and also by a, a relevant part of the, of the social um, workers, and included the detection of these patients, the proactive follow-up of these patients, the uh, detection of the compensations, and also the con continuous communication uh, between the multi-professional team that was acting around the patients. And added to this element, 
For example, we have some data. This is, these are data from the last February. About 1,391 patients, 1,000 patients, have been uh, included in a specific uh, uh, individual plan, in, in a specific level of intervention with protocols adapted to the needs. And about 18,000 patients are included in the pathway for patients with complex needs. So some things are changing. To add to this, there are another initiatives, for example, to try to promote an, an empowerment and self-care of patients, including the creation of a, of a school of patients and, and, and caregivers. And, and another key element of this movement of transformation with the chronic, chronic strategy was the impulse of the shared electronic health record. For us in Madrid, as we have free choice, it was a, 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 a very relevant need. Probably it is not in, in the position that every professional would like to, to have. But for example, I am not only a professor in the university, I work as a family physician every day. And one of the things that have changed my life is that nowadays I have access to the main information of my patients. So I can have access to the hospital reports, to the old analytics, if they have gone to the emergency room, everything. So now also the things are, are, are also changing. The, the second project that we selected that for me it's really paradigmatic of inter, integrated care was the palliative care organization in Madrid region. Uh, with two plans, a palliative care, end of life plans, the last one from uh, uh, 2010 uh, till 2014, uh, the, the, a net of resources to support the end of life patients was established in Madrid region, ensuring the assistance seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And with some key elements, for example, the, uh, the home support a primary, primary care team that support the primary care uh, physicians and nurses, but also give direct assistance in many cases. And uh, it's a relevant element. Another element relevant were, were some middle state unit that in case that the patient didn't want it to die at home, was able to go to these specialized units. And a very special thing is what we, we call PAL24. That is the way in which we have ensure this continuity of care with all the elements, with a, a phone a call center that uh, it's acti acting seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And finally, a key element is the shared electronic health record that it is called InfoPAL, that it is shared by all the, all the actors, all the professionals that can act in, in anywhere. And some of the data of this uh, palliative care um, organization is, for example, these are public um, numbers. In 2017, about 9,000 9, adult patients with palliative needs were um, attended. And from this, about 7,500 uh, 7, were attended at home by the specific teams. So many of them die at home. This is a key element. And finally, uh, uh, we, we would like to share with you two case studies that we developed in a concrete territory in Madrid. We selected the territory of influence of one hospital, and we tried to evaluate the, all the implementation process and to assess the impact in that territory. Why? Because it is a, a, a territory with a, a, um, a difficult situation. It is a, attended by a hospital, a, a private hospital, uh, managed by a pri private uh, public hospital, but with a private company by a concession of 30 years, with uh, their own specific managing team, with the primary care health centers with uh, 21 offices, different offices, suburban and rural offices that are managed by a specific public team and depend on Madrid Health Service. And the 45 nursing homes of different origins, public, private, 
and they are managed by different companies. But it was a territory that we consider quite advanced in the implementation of these implemented care initiatives. So uh, they have, even before the, the creation of the hospital, they have uh, implemented about 28 integrated care initiatives, including, for example, new roles, new roles that try to give support to the primary care or uh, nurses or physicians, or to try to ensure the transitional care, for example, new services, including this, uh, this uh, planning of this church, this proactive follow-up after this church, or, uh, for example, the nursing home hospitalizations, for example. Or some new tools like the shared electronic health record or what, what they call e-consult that allows the non-presential, non-face-to-face uh, communication between different professionals. And also some experiences of telemedicines. And with this, uh, one of the main results that we found it were that uh, the use of the different tools were very elevated and increased with the different years. At, for example, the, the, all the elements of transitional care also were increasing year to year, including, for example, that about 100% of the, of the discharge was sent into the primary care, the, 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 the specific report. But you know that many of these patients were follow up in 24 hours with a telephone call. And when we ask uh, professionals for those territory to, through a specific uh, survey about the perception of participation, consensus, and acceptance, for example, we identified they, they, those factors that has favored the implementation or those that has been barriers to, to, to this implementation. And the, the, for example, the, uh, the degree of, of acceptance of the health professionals of, of those new roles and, and services and tools who uh, receive high scores, also the useful, usefulness the perceptions of usefulness of these tools, so uh, the, it was perceived as good for, by the professionals. And in this concrete territory, we also try to analyze the impact, for example, and we study the different uh, a map of indicators with 32 indicators, uh, and we obtain these indicators for the total population, for the complex patients and for institutionalized patients, trying to uh, uh, establish statistical uh, analysis. And we, for example, we detected that where there were improves in the levels of control of different diseases, also in the average stay of the hospital compared with the rest of Madrid region, and for example, in the activity of the primary care, in the case of readmission, the, 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 the numbers didn't change in, the, in the readmission in 30 days, probably because the elements that were, have to be implemented for patients with complex needs or institutionalized were implemented in the last year, so probably with no time for change. But for example, in the case of readmissions uh, due to, to diabetes, the results were better than in the rest of Madrid region. Also, the, there were good results and experience of care, for example, in the uh, satisfaction with the coordinated care that was received for the patients, uh, the coordinated care between the family uh, physicians and the different hospital uh, uh, physicians. And the, with this quadruple dimension of the quadruple M, the, the, the professional satisfaction was very high. So the results were quite good in this region, and the perception of the implementation process also. But now, from all these plans that I have introduced to you and I have shared with you, I would like to share my, my, uh, some of my learnings during this process. For example, what I consider the key elements that are present in the different projects that have better results. And some of these key elements, first of all, is we have uh, to have a strategic framework of, in the, of an integrated care, I think, and to persist in this vision of integrated care, it's relevant. To have too many plans, too many projects, sometimes confuse 
And I think to, uh, even with changes in the political uh, level or in the managers, to persist with this integrated care vision is relevant. The second one is that the difference sometimes are not the, the framework is the same, the projects are the same, but we find difference in the different territories, probably because one of the elements is the managers, leaders and the management change that is different in, in these different territories. And, and, I, and we think we have to focus on this. Also, uh, it's very interesting to work in the cultural transformation. In, from my vision now as a family physician, all the organizations have a culture, those routines, those behaviors, those uh, knowledges, real or not, that are part of the organization. And sometimes it's very difficult to change this. But it is relevant when you, when you share the story you want to achieve, the implementation care history. And when you share it, the motivation to change is increase. The, then we have some tools that can help. For example, the, the new pathways, is, it, I think it's a useful uh, uh, tool. And also uh, some IT tools can give supports and, and it is relevant to, to try to, to give useful tools and useful uh, uh, to, to help in the change. With tools that allow the continuous communication because communication is another key element from my point of view. And finally, I think we, probably in many of the regions of Madrid we could find integrated care initiatives and in many of the regions everywhere, I think. But we have to, to try to make the effort to try to evaluate the impact, to assess the impact. And we have to work in the implementation process. We, we don't have to invent many things the same, many times the same. We don't, have to also, we don't only have to decide what we want to implement, also how we want to implement it. And there are standardized methods that can help us. That's all. Thank you.